Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be analyzing two top cryptocurrencies which are Tron and Cardano and one German company which is Deutsche Bank. Please subscribe to our channel if you want us to keep releasing technical analysis and price predictions for free. Also like our videos and leave a comment. If you want to receive more detailed analysis, you might want to join us on Patreon, you will find Tutor and the link in the description field. One announcement, on January the 3rd, 2021, I will be holding a, a trading section, a webinar, a seminar named Trading and Investing in Cryptos and Stocks with Dimone Siesto, uh, hold and host by Boom, the website is goforboom.com, it's a new company, uh, they have a great customer service, they are great professional, and if you are an event organizer, doesn't matter if you are American or European, you may want to reach them out. So let's start with Deutsche Bank. What we see here actually are the, as I usually do, we have the price enveloped inside uh, two triangular moving averages, and beneath we see the Magnum cycle and the stochastic RSI. Um, actually, uh, for my two patrons, I've been uh, uh, giving them out uh, a sell short signal already two weeks ago, uh, when at the time Deutsche Bank was worth 9.1 euro. And uh, uh, the reason is because I see here that they actually we have hit uh, the top of the current cycle on a daily, uh, on a daily uh, chart. Uh, actually, right now, what is happening is that uh, Deutsche Bank is worth 8.5 and my target is at 7.5 uh, euro. From there, we should be expecting a, a rebound to then uh, move till at least 7 euro. So uh, my vision is now extremely bearish for Deutsche Bank. Um, so let's start analyzing what the Magnus cycle are telling us. As you all know, I've changed the parameters. I don't use the default ones. Um, and what kind of parameter I use are only available for my uh, Patreon. So what we see here, actually, if we analyze the historical data, so if we backtest our cell short signal, uh, we see actually that, and if we observe the white curve, um, we know that every time the uh, Magnus cycle has hit uh, relative top, then from there we have experienced the strong retrace. So it happened here where we see this uh, uh, arrow, red arrow and it happened also here. Okay, In this situation we see that actually the white curve was above the upper threshold. Okay, So the actually Magnus cycles we have minus 80 is a negative one, okay, it's, uh, but this something which actually uh, depends by the calculation how the Magnus cycle has been calculated. It's not, not that important. So what happened here? Actually, we see that the white curve is again above the upper threshold. Uh, and when we analyze the stochastic RSI, even in the case I've, I've changed the parameter because the reason is because I want to know the average cycle and what I usually do is to uh, set up the cycle based on the last three cycles. Okay, so um, and and I often state that uh, for their intrinsic nature cycles cannot be equal to each other. Okay, so both in terms of amplitude then in terms of length, which means actually the distance between two points of lows. Okay, so now if we observe the stochastic RSI in terms of cycle, we can definitely detect a truncated cycle. This one is a major cycle, so major cycle, minor cycle, again a major cycle, and now we are inside the top of a new major cycle. That's why I've been calling at least 7.5 euro as a very first target for our shell short, um, short sell short trust strategy. Okay, so what we usually do as a trader is that we move our our entry point or our stop loss to our entry point and we close half of our position once we hit our target. Okay, in this case, again, my target, my very first target it is, is at 7.5 euro and the reason why it's 7.5 euro is because here we see a lot of movement in terms of gain. Okay, so 
what we can project here, both in terms of Magnum cycles and in terms of stochastic RSI, is that we should be now experiencing the descending phase of the Gauss curve. Also here, when we analyze the stochastic RSI, it's extremely important to note the derivative of the two, uh, actually, the, of the two averages, okay? Uh, so both of them are oriented down, downwards, which means right now the derivative is negative, okay? So the last time that that happened, Actually, in this case, at the end of February, we have experienced a huge movement down from 10 euro till uh, 4.5 euro. Okay, so an extremely powerful uh, movement downwards. Okay, now if we analyze the other situation, actually in uh, uh, August, we have seen uh, Deutsche Bank tumbling down from 9 euro till 7 euro. So that's why I'm predicting uh, right now Deutsche Bank uh, falling down till at least 7.5 uh, euro. Now let's move on and let's analyze Cardano against the US dollar. Here I'm using my proprietary indicators. This is a daily chart and then we'll be moving to analyzing the weekly one. So what we see here in terms of uh, uh, cycles, both the, both the Q um, proprietary indicators are telling us that actually we are inside a long position with a green curve, for in this case, above the uh, red one. But both, more importantly, we see uh, that actually all the three factors that they take into consideration when analyzing uh, my indicators are uh, positive. First of all, we, we want to see the indicator above the zero area, which means the derivative of the cycle is positive. In other words, we are inside the ascending phase of the Gauss curve. Let's see here, okay? So first of all, we want to, to be above the zero area. Then we have we want to have the green curve above the uh, red one, and both the two curves have to be above the zero with the slope with a positive slope. Okay. So and as you can see here, the both of them are oriented upwards. Same here. Okay. So in terms of um, medium cycle, we are right now positive. But let's see what we might retrieve in terms of of Magnum cycle and stochastic RSI. So uh, here we have a daily chart again uh, with the white one. Once analyzing the Magnum cycles, we see the white curve is above the uh, orange one, and both of them are oriented positively. Okay, so when that happened, uh, we have experienced in the past, we've experienced, for example, a movement from 0 0.05 till 0 0.15, which means 300% of movement up. Okay, the stochastic RSI yet is giving us a different message because as we can see here both the two curves are uh, negative oriented okay and actually they are below the half cycle and most importantly uh, actually we are not uh, we should have the blue curve of the uh, red one this is a warning sign so what we see here is that actually we have four signals uh, three of them are positive and one is negative so now let's move on and let's analyze the weekly chart and let's see in terms of price section uh, those targets where we are okay so here what we see is something extremely negative when analyzing the stochastic RSI. Okay, right now the blue curve is uh, getting horizontal while the uh, red one is still uh, oriented downwards, okay? Uh, now, if we analyze the Magnum cycles, we see that the very first time, for the very first time, the white curve has crossed above the second half of the ascending phase of the Gauss curve, which is a positive signal. Uh, yet, in terms of volumes, which are actually the only indicator able to predict in advance a future movement, we don't see a spike in the volume. What we want to see actually is a huge spike in volume, some a point of control, what we call POC point of control, which can predict Cardano skyrocketing over the next weeks and months. Yet, this might be a wrong calculation because trending view is not taking into consideration all the uh, all the uh, volumes, but it is taken in consideration only some kind of volumes based on the provided, based on the broker. So let's let's see on bitscreen.com where we are in terms of volumes for uh, Cardano. Okay, here we should have a better vision of, in terms of volume. Let's see if we have some sort of point of control. Point of control. Sorry, guys. Uh, and let's see where Cardano might move over the next weeks and uh, and months. So let's see here. Okay, what we see here is something incredible, guys. We see a huge point of control. It's exactly what we need to see Cardano skyrocketing over the next months. Okay, so this is a weekly chart, uh, as you can see here. So the trend uh, is something that 
actually um, we should consider it for the next months uh, definitely for 2021 so what we've seen with my property indicator is something related to the short-term trend okay while uh, considering the weekly chart and uh, this huge in in increase in terms of volume so we can definitely project cardano going to hit the next target 0.40 us dollar okay now if we analyze the MACD for the second time actually is above the zero which is extremely uh, positive then we see a bullish divergence between the indicator and the price action okay and uh, with the, actually the this a minor in terms of importance less important than the than what have been stating uh, so far actually we see the blue curve above the orange one okay so very first target for cardano is 0 0.40 us dollar which means a 250 percent uh, up bull trend over the next uh, uh, month okay right now in terms of daily cycle um, we have uh, actually we have retrieved a different signal not everything seems to be clear right now for the short term okay we have the very first horizontal resistance at 0 0.20 us dollar which means before skyrocketing till uh, sorry to uh, 0 0.40 we need to actually to overcome this area okay where we see this resistance now let's move on let's analyze tron against the us dollar okay now let's use even uh, uh, even uh, training view in order to understand uh, where we might move again against uh, uh, let's see if i can see through okay this one uh, calculated by training view okay as you can see here that is binance that's why that's why uh, it was not correct in terms of volumes okay so let's not consider the volumes in this case so what do we see here we see an extremely prolonged time of low volatility okay when this happen or when this happens normally we should see a huge increase in terms of amplitude uh, actually we could expect we could expect something like that where we see a huge candle with a, an extremely important difference between the point of high and the point of low okay so the amplitude is the difference between the high and the low so very first target very first resistance 0 0.06 so even in this case we have a 250 percent of space in front of us and as you can see here in terms of environment uh, loops uh, it seems that the price seems to be uh, actually uh, recognizing uh, the upper band so why i designed the two envelopes is because uh, as you know uh, those are two dynamic resistance and support okay resistances and support and they are dynamic because they are actually uh, created by using the a volatility now uh, what we actually what we see uh, right now in terms of stochastic rsi is something uh, quite worrisome yet i would not consider this stochastic rsi uh, while i, I could i would give more attention to the mind new cycles and the reason is because this stochastic rsi is not uh, right now <coughs> telling us uh, everything in term correctly because the we have a sort of lack lack of data why while the manual cycle seems to be actually uh, coming out from uh, actually the bearish momentum that we have experiencing between the 18 and the 2020 okay thank you guys